Welcome to Mike Golden Games, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This episode, Abigail needs us to do something for her. So let's go over here and speak with her, see what she needs us to do for her. Hey, man, how's it going? Mr. Arthur. Yeah. I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down okay. here, what they want? I have no idea. They see you? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Kieran. Mm-hmm. This guy seems pretty cool. I hope he doesn't try to betray us. All right, well, I should be getting on. Well, good talking to you. That was uh, one of the uh, O'Driscolls that we... Evening, Arthur. I guess technically he decided to join us. He killed some of his guys that he was riding with and decided to join us. So we'll see if he tries to stab us in the back like he did his guys. So anyways, let's get over this way. And where is Abigail? She... There she is over by the tent. Okay. Let's go speak with her, see what's going on. Hey, Abigail, what's going on? Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What yep. is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Yep. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please. Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. All right. I guess we're going to go fishing. Sweet. I guess we'll just go to sleep right now and wait till the morning. All right. Time to get some good, uh, good rest. Yeah. <sighs> morning already. Damn, that seemed really quick. I gotta say, my bed is pretty comfortable, though, after upgrading it. Alright, where's Jack? Hey, Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. <laughs> you wanna come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. <laughs> okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose <laughs> made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mount your horse. All right. Uh, so in the last episode, if you saw, I went and oh, captured man. a wild horse. Lift you it's that brown and white one over there. Looks like it's still over there, so that's good. All right, so he's got his pole there, so let's load up. All right, Jack, come on. Hop on the back. Or is he going to get on the front? Okay, store the fishing pole. All right, Jack, come on. All right. This <laughs> is so cute. Hold on tight. All right. Uh, so, compendium updated. Fishing pole. Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. <laughs> I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Oh, well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. <laughs> All right. This looks as good a spot as any. All right. Let's put him down and let's go fishing. There you go, grab the pool. All right. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Again, this is Jack Marston's son. I don't think we're you actually related, but, you know, like, everybody's their uncle, I guess, in the gang. All right, come on, boy. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> All right, right down by the water here looks like Just a good by spot. The water there? Yep. You mean? Yep, right down here is a good spot. All right, and let's pull out my own fishing pole, I guess. Sweet. First, 
We need There's some a bait. bunch of fish right in front of us. Okay, hold LB. And so we got cheese. Track smaller fish such as rock bass and bluegill. Eh, that should be good. Cheese. I did not know fish like cheese. Bellier the better. Now, hmm. cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Beautifully casted. Like that? Yeah, yeah perfect. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. He should probably bring in his line a bit. Whoop. at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop. Ignore that one, Jack. That was my mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, there's a little nibble there. This is a great fishing spot. Don't it jinx sure it, is. kid. <laughs> You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur. There we go. Come on, baby. Fish Come on. on is it a big one? Rotate to reel it in. Okay. Come on. There we go. Is it fighting? You see oh, him fighting oh, there? Oh, Jack? Come on, come on. That's Both the other you way. Come be on, be careful. On. You, you'll break the line. Best come to on. wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. Some pretty I'm good advice. Try reeling oh, oh, him oh, in, oh, nice oh, and steady. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Reel it in. Oh, I see it. It looks pretty big. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on now. Tire him up. There we go. Reel it in. Why am Almost I not got him. catching any? Just be go. patient. Come on. come on, come on. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that is a nice sized fish. Look, Jack, it's just five pounds and two bass. ounces. Small it's mouth bass. As small as you. Oof, we we'll keep really that. We throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Okay. Uh, why to equip equip cheese? Okay. So we will re-equip cheese. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. All right, Jack. Just don't go too far now. Let's throw that out there. Well, let's try again. That was a really bad cast. Let's try that again. Let's see. Okay, so. And there we go, beautiful. All right. That was good. Let's see what's biting there. All right, any second now, any second now. Oh, oh, oh there we go, come on, baby, there come on. One. There we go, oh, 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 there we go. He's fighting, there we go, let's reel it in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gotta stick steady. it, Steady, you gotta Jack. steady. I know. Oh, 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 he's fi oh, he's fighting, he is fighting. Come on, come on, right there, we got him, we got him, we got him. What do we got? Oh, man, that is tiny. That felt way bigger than what it actually was. Oh, this one's One a pound, it's a redfin pickerel. Not bad. We will throw back, because he is really small. Oh, we got some reputation as well for that. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> yeah, I know. Boring as hell. <laughs> But then, something happens, and you can get food for days. Really? Yep. If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. <laughs> it's good for you. It's good for you? Let's see. I guess. Huh. Let's try one more fish. Hey, look at this. And what? Oh, this Beautiful. necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. Oh, what a fine young man. Who is this guy? In such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. 
orphaned street kids seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? <laughs> we want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently yeah. not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Can I just, like, take them out right Matt now? Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid, while you still can. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. $5,000 bounty on my head, though? Damn! That was a good one. Just Can I turn away, myself Jack. in? <laughs> you might be worried. Let's head back. Come on, Jack. Let's go. Well, that sucks. It cut our fishing trip short. But I did catch a five pound fish, so that's now, pretty good. Please? Yep, Jack, boy. let's go. Come on, boy. Good boy, Sentinel, good boy. All right, come on, Jack. There we go, up we go. All right, let's head back to camp. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. Yeah, it that is. is true. I really hope they're not following us right now. That would not be good. Yeah. Alright, let's speed it up and get into camp here. You and we'll pitch my horse right up here. There we go. There you are. How are you boys getting on? <laughs> Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? <laughs> You're not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Pinker. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. <laughs> All right, time to get down to business. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Well, you followed back here. No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. 
They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? Time to move camp, I'd say. I'd say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. They're mountains. We just need to stay calm. That is a good point. Damn. Okay. A fisher of men. Okay, guys, I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time. And be sure to hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos do go up. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. Take it easy, guys.